everyone, Simsy Claire here and welcome back. So today we're doing another Sims 4 speed build, but this one is a little different. We're doing a base game only build in Willow Creek. And I haven't done a base game only build probably since I only had the base game, which was right when I started out. So it was a little rough for me. Um, just trying not to want to take off the filter and use all of my packs. But I think I did a pretty good job. I actually really like this house. I thought it would be for like a writer. And so I gave them a pretty big like kitchen and dining area, even though it's not a family home because I was picturing they would like entertain there. But we'll get more into that when we get inside of the build. Right now you see me struggling with the roofs. Um, I usually don't have as much trouble with the roofs, but I was kind of going off a couple of different pictures I found on Pinterest so I could get the style of house um, like in my head that I wanted to do and for some reason that little piece that's like on top of the house just looked so tall compared to all of the roofs I was putting on it and like I like it just showed way too much of like the the actual walls of the house and I was like they I was like I don't really usually have this much issue and I kept like looking to make sure it was on the shortest wall height which it was so I ended up changing the way I was doing the roof you saw it right there I did two pieces instead of one and I end up really liking how it looks later on I have to mess with it again because I do add an extension off of there to make that room a little bigger but I cut most of that out just because you already saw me messing with the roof earlier now as I said this is base game only so I'm going through and trying to find a base game fence I was tempted to use that lattice fence that I really like, but I thought that it was kind of weird to put that in the front of the house. It would kind of block off the patio area. So I went with this classic, just like white wooden, um, kind of more modern looking, even though the house isn't really that modern, but it was, I, I liked it the most out of all the fences that I had. And then here I'm going through picking out the windows. I really like the bay windows we got in base game. They're my favorite base game windows. Um, we ha I think we have a couple of other bay windows and some other packs, like we have the laundry day one and we got some with eco lifestyle, but I really like the shutters on the base game ones, so usually if I'm doing bay windows, I do use those. And then I'm also using just these classic, um, like four pane windows as well. Um, I just thought that they match the style of the house a little bit better and they look really good from the inside as well with how I decorate the inside so I was really happy that I ended up choosing those and then we're just going through and picking out the color of the roof and the walls I really wanted to make the house blue but I wanted there to be a stone feature and initially I picked out this country field stone which I use for pretty much all of my builds it used to be the only wall texture I would use back when I first got the game but then I looked and I remembered I did brick accents on the foundation and the stairs so I decided I was going to to do a brick accent instead of the country field stone and I think that that was the right decision it just looked it looks so much better against the blue and I'm not usually a big fan of like non-worn bricks like I really like worn bricks interior walls but like brick outside I'm not like a huge fan of especially in the game so I was really happy that I found one that I liked and then here I'm building the path to the front door and I also add a little driveway here just to fill up some of the space so it's not repetitive. I feel like a lot of my builds I do just like a whole lot of landscaping and just like a whole lot of garden areas around so I kind of wanted to throw in a driveway and then we also get debug cars in base game so I wanted to kind of play with that feature a little bit. I do put a car in that driveway. And then here I am just going through and doing my typical landscaping. You'll see me go into the debug menu and try and find some more plants to use. I was hoping to find some of the ones that are around the world, but then I realized that because it's base game, I'm pretty sure, and like the initial release of the game, if I remember correctly, did not have like all of these debug items in it. Like we didn't get all these plants and everything. So I'm pretty sure that the game or the base game plants that they gave us are the ones that we actually have in the world because they look so similar. So I ended up just pulling out these little grasses that you see around and then just going back into the gardening menu and picking out the plants that I had used earlier because they looked the most similar to the plants that we had around in the world. And I do just a couple of little garden patches and then I give them the Willow Creek mailbox 
just because we are in Willow Creek. I never use that mailbox because it's it, it's kind of weird looking to me. Like even when I build in Willow Creek, I don't really use it. But since we're in base game and we're doing like a classic build, I figured I would go ahead and put that one in here. And then here I am adding these flowers. flowers. You'll see me go up into my camera menu and I do this a couple of times in the build. When I do this, I'm switching over to the Sims 3 camera because the Sims 3 camera allows you to freely rotate objects and I haven't figured out, I don't know if the Sims 4 camera lets you do it, if we're being totally honest. I haven't been able to figure out how to get it to work, at least on my Mac. But when I switch over to the Sims 3 camera and I hit the option button on my Mac, it allows me to just free, freely rotate things 360 degrees so I can pick, you know, what, how I actually want them to look, not like on their typical 45 degree angles. So that's why I sometimes switch over to that camera if there's a specific angle I want a chair or a plant to be at. And then here I am decorating the front area. I just do a simple little seating area up front and then I do some plants and I also believe I add a chest table because for the writing career you actually, somewhere in there I know that you need a little bit of logic skill. I'm pretty sure it's not that high. I think it's like level two or level three, but I also really like adding chest tables to the build because they give fun for your sims and you know, it's a, it's a fun activity to have them do, and they look really cute in builds like this. And then there you saw um, in the flash for a second, I did cut out all the floor planning, but you saw that I did have an extra room up top that I added. I wanted there to be a bigger bathroom because that little small corner over there behind the stairs is the downstairs bathroom. And as I said, I think that they would entertain a lot, so I wanted there to be a separate bathroom for... The guests and then for her to use or him to use as their master bathroom so I went ahead and added another one upstairs and then here I am just picking out all of the wallpapers now I pick every one except for the bedroom because I wasn't sure at the time what color scheme I wanted to go for the bedroom because I initially was going to pick a pink a pinkish wall to go downstairs but then I thought that that was a little it was a little harsh it was it was a lot so I ended up doing this cream color and then I was like if I end up wanting to do the pink in the bedroom I'll just leave it, this wall blank in case I do decide to do that and then here I am just picking out some of the decorations for the front door um, I do a little plant there I tried really hard to decorate all of the walls in this and all of the empty spaces I'm sure you've noticed in a couple of my builds um, like in the screenshots at the angles I pick you can kind of tell that there are some walls that I've accidentally left blank like I've kind of just forgotten about so I tried really hard not to do that in this build um, and I'm I'm trying to make that better in all of my builds it's just sometimes I like go through and I add all my clutter and then I forget about the walls so I'm really happy with how this one turns out I add like a lot more paintings than I usually do and as you can see, I did kind of like a feature wall on the stairs there. So like it's a different wooden texture than the rest of the walls. So I'm really happy about that. And then here I am picking out a rug for the living room. I don't always do rugs in the living room, but my sister commented on one of my videos and said that like asked me where the rug was. And I was like, I, I didn't put one. And she was like, oh, and it, like I was like, Sh should I be putting rugs? And that made me second guess my decisions so I decided to go ahead and place a rug in here just so I like to see how I liked it and I don't mind it I'm just I'm a hardwood kind of gal so I don't always like putting rugs over my hardwood but there you saw me add a wall behind the stairs I didn't know what I was going to put in that little hall area that was created by the stairs because I couldn't move the stairs against the wall because the upstairs room wasn't big enough so I just sectioned it off and pretended it didn't exist basically <laughs> Um, and then here we are into the kitchen. Now the kitchen was the one I was most worried about with base game only because I never use the base game counters ever. I just, I really don't like any of them, which is awful, but I don't. And so I was trying to find some that I liked and these I thought kind of looked, I don't know if they remastered them or like redid them. But when we had these initially, they looked super plasticky and not appealing at all. But these don't look as plasticky. Like, they still look like they're not, like, wood. They're not, like, my favorite rustic counters. But, um, 
they don't look as plasticky as before. So I think that they probably redid them because I know a lot of people complained about how plasticky these counters looked. So they actually look really good in this build. And I might end up using them a bit more now that they look a little better. And then here I'm going through and just cutting up the counters as usual. Now, as I said, I pictured this person to be a writer. And I don't end up giving them a desk just because I didn't have the space. So I do put all of their writing stuff on the kitchen counters. And I gave them like a little notebook that they could write all their notes in. And then a laptop because I figured they would maybe like go to different places around the world to get inspiration for their stories. So they traveled a lot. And they didn't really need like a sit down area to do all of their writing. And then this is the dining room I was talking about. How it definitely looks more like a family space because it's so big. And so like like there's like a full on dining table. They have wine racks and everything. Um, I Like I said, I pictured this sim would entertain like for launch parties or like public releases of their books or something. And then... Here I add these picture frames and I try and make them look in this like cool angle because I'm trying to fill up the space. But later on I realize I don't have any windows on that side of the house so I do end up moving the paintings and adding in some windows just so um, it's a little bit better. And then it also helps me fill up the wall because closer to the bay window the wall's a little empty. So when I put the windows in and I move the pictures over it fills up the space a lot better. And then here I am going into the upstairs. I initially was going to do blue because um, I put the pink up and I didn't, I kind of didn't know what bed I would use with the pink. So I went with blue and then I found this rustic dream bed after I put in the ignore gameplay um, cheat because this is unlocked through the artist career and I really liked this bed. So I went ahead and went with like a muted, it, it looks gray here. Um, and it might be a gray, I don't know, it looked more like a brown to me when I initially did this build. So that's why I went with it, because it kind of matched the floor and the bed, like the headboard and everything. And then I just add a dresser and a mirror with some plants. I initially wasn't going to put a fence around the stairs. I don't usually do put fences around the stairs. But then I put the mirror there and I was like, you know, it'd be really awkward if the sim like... They can't really do this because it the game doesn't allow them, but I was like, it'd be really awkward if the Sim went to go check themselves out in the mirror and then fell down the flight of stairs. So I decided to put the fence there and I think it looks really good. And then I just put some plants by the mirror. Um, it doesn't block your Sim from getting to the mirror at all and I think it just adds a little bit, like a little bit more to the build instead of just having this random mirror over in the corner. And then by the dresser, you saw I just added a whole bunch of book clutter. I did that, um, the unlockable, like, special framed book. And I figured that maybe that was their first public book. Like, it was their first published one. So I thought that that was kind of cool to put above their dresser since I did a freestanding mirror. And then this is the master bathroom. This is where I put the shower and all of, like, the necessities for the sim. And then I remembered that I didn't actually decorate the downstairs bathroom, so I go downstairs real quick and put all of the objects in there um, that I needed. And as I said, this is just the guest bathroom, so it, there isn't a whole lot of clutter, there isn't a whole lot of objects, it's just the, the basics. And then this is when I put the windows that I was talking about up, and then I add some more windows around, and then I move outside. So outside, I give them another little bit of like an entertaining space. I build this little patio area and then I give them a grill and a table, I believe. I think I'd choose a picnic table because um, I really like the picnic tables we have in game and some of the base game ones that we get for outdoor dining they're like only two person tables and they look like they belong in a cafe because they have those those like um those like big like umbrellas on them and they're like striped and they literally just look like they should be like on a street outside of like a little bakery so i try not to use those because i don't really like how they look in houses and then here i am just throwing some more terrain paint around and I do skip over some of this landscaping just because it's pretty repetitive with what I did up front. Um, I just add plants around where I did all the like all the terrain paint and it's the exact same plants I used up front 
And then I had this empty space, so I decided to add a pool, and I do just some basic features here. But this is the end of the build, so I hope you all enjoyed this one, and stick around for the next one, so I'll see you all then. Bye!